In 2005, Mary Shirley Franklin issued a report called Hidden in Plain View. And the report talked about three corners that were particularly problematic. One of those corners was in the heart of downtown. One of those corners was in the heart of Buckhead, Piedmont Road and Far Road. But the corner that most got my attention and the attention of our congregation was our own corner, North Avenue and Peachtree Street. Eight churches got together and said, what is the need in Atlanta and where do the churches fit into this? And the end of that process was the formation of a network of congregations throughout the metro Atlanta area called Street Grace. There's a grand partnership going on in the life of, of uh, Atlanta right now, and this has become a focal point for us all. We as a church at Perimeter have found this to be something that we're diving into full board because we believe it's such a critical need. We're an alliance of churches dedicated to stopping the rape of children for profit in our city and stopping the rape of children for profit across this nation. It's a moral evil. It's a moral cancer in the midst of a great city and it's something that we as a faith community need to address. Awareness and advocacy. Part of awareness is what we're doing now. You listening to this and finding out what's going on here is part of awareness. And our goal is to have 100,000 people aware by the end of 2010. Advocacy means that I have spent more time at the Capitol than I ever planned on spending in my entire life. Um, but there were major changes that need to, to, to start there. Church mobilization. The church has come late to this issue. And what we're trying to do is not just raise the awareness of the, the churches, but to get the people in those churches mobilized to take some action. Uh, when this first came about, one of the things that was realized is that, you know, churches would find out about it or anybody would find out about it and they'd go, well, gosh, that's terrible, but there was nothing for them to do. So part of what we're doing is we're mobilizing them to take real action to make change on this issue. The third is prayer. We understand that um, we're not in charge of this, that we are in charge of putting one foot in front of the other and doing what we're supposed to do on a day-to-day -day basis. But the person who, the, but the entity that's in charge of this is God. And if we do what we're supposed to do, then he can make all the changes that are necessary. And all of that, ha so all of our actions have to be undergirded with prayer. And our goal is to have 24 hour a day, seven day a week prayer. Our fourth initiative is mentoring at-risk children and supporting at-risk neighborhoods. We know that if all we do is rescue these girls and we don't prevent children from entering into it in the first place, that will increase the numbers of children affected. And the last initiative is the services for rescued children, places where they can go in for residential care, where their mental, physical, and spiritual needs can be met, where they can be restored to a healthy life and to wholeness. Street Grace's role in this issue is as a supporting organization. And by that, I mean that we partner with other organizations who are doing good in this area. Street Grace isn't like any other organization that I've worked with. They're not only doing legislation work, but they're getting the word out to the community. This is one of the greatest hidden secrets of our great city of Atlanta, child trafficking. And Street Grace is out to make a difference. We are excited to partner with them. They're our go-to organization that is really gonna make a difference. One of the dangers with the big grassroots movement is um, duplication of efforts. And I think Street Grace, by quickly becoming the go-to organization for congregations that want to speak up on behalf of children who've been victims of commercial sexual exploitation, uh, it's added so much value for us knowing that we've got individual um, grass tops organizations, if you will, like Street Grace, that have uh, the ability to carry a single message down through their organization to individual congregations who then share it with their individual members um, and know that we're all on the same page. Child sex trafficking is a terrible issue here in Atlanta and as the campaign director of A Future Not a Past, we are uh, delighted to be in partnership with Street Grace because Street Grace is an organization that brings together uh, the faith-based community uh, services and is, is really a go-to organization on the front lines. To help channel resources, the enormous resources of the faith community in Atlanta toward this issue in a way that will really make a difference so that we can end this evil in our midst.